All right, welcome back to uh, Pride's Picks Plays of the Week. Uh, we were really sorry about last week. Yeah, just it was so, atrocious. It was just so sorry. And look, we were we down had, bad. We had the time off. We had you know we took a little time away. Uh, came back and we're rusty. Rusty is an understatement. Everything I touched turned to shit. I couldn't find a win, any bet across any platform. Uh, I was consistently bad. Yeah. Also, Rusty wouldn't really even fit because we weren't good before. So it's not like we were we, better before. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, I hit one before. The good news is, is we're down so bad that there's only one direction to go, and that's up. Yes. Or to the Earth's core. Or I, we might already be there. Yeah. All right. Would you like to start? Yeah, sure. I'll go I first. St- I believe I started last week, so it, it didn't do well for me. Look, I was feeling good about my picks last week. This week, I feel extremely good. All right. We're going to start it off with a two square entry heading down to Jacksonville and Detroit. What should be a very high scoring game. So a great place to take a couple mores. We're going to start with the quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence, to score more than 18 fantasy points. Lawrence has had, you know, an up and down season a little bit, but recently he's been really good. All right. He's finished as a QB one five times over his last six weeks. And since week nine, he's second in pro football focus passing grades, 10th in air yards per attempt. He's second in big time throw rate. Detroit, we know, is a bad defense. Since the start of the season, they are 32nd in allowing fantasy points per game to quarterbacks. Trevor Lawrence just beat up on the Ravens, so you got to love this spot here for T-Law, right? I'm a fan of taking his fantasy. I've done I've done it in the past, so. I was going back and forth between on his fantasy points or his pass yards, but Trevor Lawrence got that rushing attack to him. You know, he's got some nice legs under him. He could dive it into the end zone, so I feel more comfortable going with the fantasy points. 18, it's a little high for a price picks line. But like I said, 51 points is the total of this game, and I just think it's going to be a whole bunch of back and forth. On the other side, going back and forth, Amon Ross St. Brown to have more than 74 and a half receiving yards. Look, Lions have a pretty good offense this year. We know that. And it's basically been on the back of Amon Ross St. Brown. I mean, week after week, he's proven he could be a wide receiver one in fantasy. You want to interject? I'm going to pretend Jamal Williams isn't there with the most rushing touchdowns in the league. Well, who gets him down to that goal line? Amon Ross is a very big part of it, for sure. He's the wide receiver 10 in fantasy right now. He's got a 28.5% target share, all right? 23.4% air yard share. Tell him. He is First amongst wide receivers in target per route. In, in target. Oh, my God. Too many R's. Too many Tell R's. Em! Target per route run rate. You got any more? Uh, no, I'm right, good. Okay. He's just, he's a volume guy, you know? He gets a whole bunch of fucking targets, gets a whole bunch of receptions. Jared Goff's love throwing it to him. Lions at home. We know Jared Goff performs better at home, which means Amon Ross St. Brown is going to perform better at home. And taking a look at his last five games on the Price Picks app, you'll see that his last three, he's crushed it. 122, 76. 76 is not a crushing it, but 119. <laughs> crushed it. Yeah, he, he just got it. He just got it. He's averaging 88 in his last five. Uh, again, same game, 51 points total. That's the projection. So I'm projecting that Amon Ross St. Brown is going over 74 and a half receiving yards. I like it. I like it. All right. My first two square. It's two squares, it's two running backs, and it's two bad rushing defenses. The first one, we got Nick Chubb, more than 90 and a half rushing yards versus Houston Texans. The absolute worst run defense in the league, ranked 32 out of 32 teams, averaging 168 rushing yards per game, giving up 168 rushing yards per game to the opponent. So, uh, Nick Chubb. First game back with Deshaun Watson and the Browns. I feel like they're going to want to obviously get Deshaun involved, but they're going to want to probably lean on the run game here and play it safe so, you know, they can actually get this win because this is a trap game for them. Big trap game for them. They can't afford to lose this game. That would be the most humiliating thing that the Browns franchise has ever been through, and they've been through a lot of humiliation. Nick Chubb, one of the best running backs in the league against one of the worst rush defenses in the league. It's just a A A plus B equals C, you know? You know when they say like a – unstoppable force meets an immovable object. This is an unstoppable force meets like a piece of paper, something thin, something light, something super breakable. Like Nick Chubb should go for 300. I don't know what the record is for most rushing yards in the game, but I think Nick Chubb has a chance of beating it this week. Yeah, Kareem Hunt, 75 yards, Nick Chubb, 20. All right, let's go. (laughs) That's how she's going to go. And the second square, we got Derrick Henry. We're going back to him, I know. Let us down last week, but that's okay. 
Derrick Henry, more than 85 and a half rushing yards versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Look, he did not hit this his line in the last three weeks. This man is so due, especially against one of the bottom end run defenses in the league. They're ranked 18th against the run. So 120 rushing yards they're they're giving up. You assume maybe Derrick Henry doesn't get all the the rushing. And if the Titans are going to get 120, you know, he's going to get over the 85 and a half here. You know, he might get 90, he might get 95. I think he goes for 100, honestly. But 85 and a half is the line. So I feel really good about this. Two running backs that are both uh, some of the best in the league and some of the worst run defenses in the league. So that's the strategy there. I like it. I like it a lot. My next entry, I got... Can't right. forget about Mike Breen. Yeah, I don't it, know. It's a three-man show here. You, me, and Mike Breen. Yeah. Can't forget about the most important person here. Sorry, Mike. I had to get you in there. Yeah, we'll squeeze him in there every now and then. My next entry, three wide receivers, all rookies. We like new guys because they're exciting. They have promising upside. And I think there is value to exploit on some of these rookies because their totals haven't really caught up to what they've pro- been producing recently. So, three legs in this one. Hit me. First guy, Garrett Wilson, more than 60 and a half receiving yards. Look, when he's paired up with Zach Wilson, it's been horrendous. He's not been able to get any targets that are catchable. But since the change to Magic Mike, he's been electric. He's got 95 receiving yards last week. He got a 28.6% target share. Look, with Zach Wilson, he was really (laughs) inconsistent, all right? We'll put it that way. Mike White, one for one in good games. Granted, it was against the you know the terrible Bears defense, yeah. but this is against the terrible Vikings defense, who ranked 28th against wide receivers. There you go. That's the stat you need. That's the hear. fucking stat we need, all right? Where are you getting your sources from? Uh, Fantasy Pros? I'm using uh, teamrankings.com. What do they have? I got uh, against the pass, Minnesota at 32. Against the pass? Yeah. Well, this I think I'm looking specifically at wide receiver. Uh, I'm looking at passing yards. Just general passing yards? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's Seems, only going to help I mean, my that case. That helps your case. Yeah, right. 207, the, the worst in the league. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, Minnesota, they're a pretty good offense. They should be able to put up points. So I think the game script for the Jets is going to be that they are going to have to throw early and throw often. Garrett Wilson is going to be the number one receiving option there. He's already asserted himself as the alpha. You know who else has done that? Christian Watson. He's in a little bit of a breakout. We're going to take the more of... 47 and a half receiving yards against the Chicago Bears. Bears defense is absolutely decimated. It looks like Aaron Rodgers is going to play this game. And, I mean, he, he's scoring touchdowns at an unbelievable rate. I don't know how sustainable that is, right? So I thought about taking his fancy points, but I'm going to keep it safe. 47 and a half seems like a low line. He ranks eighth in yards per route run. Bears defense, just terrible. So... I really like Christian Watson there. I think he continues to see a lot of work with Aaron yeah, Rodgers. He do that on one reception. 50 yards? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He he's did got, it last week. He's got that deep threat in him. He did it last week. There we go. Last guy, another rookie, George Pickens. More than 46 and a half receiving yards, all right? Since week nine, Pickens has an 18.3% target share, 33% air yard share, and he looks to be Kenny Pickett's favorite target so far. The dude also has, like, spidey abilities on the field. If I were to make his Madden character, he would have 99% or 99 spec catch rating. So, yeah, some would call him a freak athlete. He's, he's, he's in that territory for sure. You got to do it. You got to do a little more and be consistent. But, yeah, he's, he's teetering on freak athlete territory. Falcons, 29th ranked defense against wide receivers. Another great matchup for wide receivers. George Pickens, over 46 and a half receiving yards. I love that. And I love that you 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 just tied in the Falcons defense and all this stuff because for my two square, I got two tight ends. Oh yeah. One of them is Double Pat tight. Firemuth, who will be playing against the Falcons, who very uh bad against the pass. They're very bad. They give up a lot of yards to receivers, tight ends, blah, blah, blah. And uh Pat Firemuth more than forty eight and a half receiving yards is the line that uh I'm gonna go with today. Look, he didn't hit it last week, he hit it the week before, he didn't hit it last the week after. He's every other week right now, all right? We're on the other. So we're on the do side. Yeah, we're on the good side of it. Last week he didn't hit, this week he's gonna hit. You know, the week before that he hit, then he didn't hit. So like that's where we're playing the pattern. So it's called pattern recognition. You and learned then, it in second grade. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to pair that with Travis Kelsey, more than 80 and a half receiving yards. Look, this is a big game against the Bengals. They they really need to win this game. They're going to probably try and lean on Kelsey a little bit here, I think. You know, that's what you do in these games. You lean on your better players. The Bengals, you know, they beat them last year going into the uh, 
to the Super Bowl. So there's a little bit of a revenge factor. Revenge factor. You know, in that Aves championship game last year, Travis Kelsey went 10 for 95 and a touchdown. Easy so, money. So you know he's going to want, you know, 12 for 120 and a touchdown. So he's definitely going to crush this 80 and a half. Uh, so that's two tight ends, two squares, two winners from me, two winners from Tony. <laughs> Two winners from Mike Breen. Two two bangs from two Breen. Bangs. <laughs> and maybe you'll give us two thumbs up on this video. Although if you don't, I would understand we haven't won you any money. So so um, we'll, we'll we'll take one thumbs up. But if you know if we haven't won you any money, that's okay. Because if you're a first time user, make sure you use promo code BDGE, and they will give you a 100% deposit match up to $100. So uh, if you're new and you're scared, uh, there's a way. It's free money, and then we'll help you lose it. Yeah, as we do so well. That's right. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And we're out.